Ene ubo remu awa de Blanc Queens of Ghana kachia. Ene team nom etumye hu di. Wamu eye final training. Ahero fin yame adumwa china. Big Gamer. Yene Zambia. Women's national team nom. Edi abewe in term. So. Yanko ni yanko supporti girls nom. Esan se. Oche hawa. Zizi se ma football ne kwa. Etuli ita osu se. Wamu penpon su wamu du nom. Wamu elefti the flank of motherland Ghana. Enti ne team nom. Etumye hu di wamu final training nom. Oche abubu wani dini frido a jubo. Wanu wa chenwere mo. The likes of ye. Doris Boudoua. Samson ena Evelyn Bedu. Oche hawa girls nom. Ki kan air very superb. Awo training grounds ha. Etuli ita osu wamu riata su se. Nyami adumu. Wachina, e kwa miya sano yede Zambia, wamo national team no manom, echi yebe kafom. Yentwa hawa ne, team no yetumye hudi wamo final training, e wakra sports studio. Mbe pa yepa midi ya sunye, komente, like e, subscribe e. Um, Nora, I mean, Hi. looking at your record so far, you have a win percentage of 91%. That's outstanding. I mean, uh, looking back in the last five years, as compared to you know the coaches that um, Ghana has had, even on the men's team, no one has actually crossed the 40% mark. How proud are you with your achievement so far? Well, um, hello, first, and uh, um, where should I look? <laughs> <laughs> to you, always. Um, well, I don't uh, compare um, myself with, with others or what has been with the, with the stars or, or before. We just focus on ourselves, of course. Uh, it gives us a certain uh, pride that we won 10 games out of 11. But in football, <laughs> the only thing that counts, it's, it's the next game. You cannot live from the past. And, and we want to pass this qualifying round. Uh, there was no, no woman team on, on the Olympics uh, so far. And we want to be the first and, and yeah, step ahead as role model. So uh, that's why we are working properly, uh, keeping the focus on us and, and no comparison to other things. Uh, I believe that... Uh, with regards to the team, the selection that we have, I mean, the goalkeeping position is one that has come up for debate because, I mean, in the last few games where you managed, Cynthia Conan was the one to go. Uh, now you have you have no option but to choose a different goalkeeper. Have you settled on the choice you are going to make tomorrow? Yes, uh, Cynthia's injured. That's a fact. Um, I'm never a coach who is uh, looking for excuses or whatever. Um, we deal um, with what it is and um, we have uh, good other players, we have good other keepers. Um, we give uh, confidence to our players who are here and we trust in them. Um, and I'm sure that uh, the keeper who will play tomorrow um, will ensure that we have another shout out behind. I mean, um, in this squad, we've seen the, the debut uh, for Frida AC. Um, what new is she bringing on board? I mean, does her versatility give you something uh, different to think about? Yes, we are uh, most proud that we have with Frida the next uh, player in on the mission, Walter, step by step. Uh, we work in um, to find also Ghanaians. Uh, Frida is from, from England, but has um, Ancaster from Ghana, and, and she's proud to play for our country. This is uh, the basic thing they need to bring. She's a very good footballer. As soon as she has the ball in the foot, um, the game will start. You hopefully will see tomorrow. Um, and we work also on other four or five players 
it's a process to bring them in, um, but I'm proud um, that she commit and she her heart is beating for Ghana. I mean, if you look at the Zambia team, they almost boost a record, just um, almost the same like the Black Queens, because they're a team that scores a lot of goals. Knowing how you want your side to play and how your side has played in the past, um, are you going to approach, approach the, same, um, the game the same way you've done in the past, or we are going to see a different tweak? So many questions. <laughs> well, when you look exactly, the, the, they played 21 games and yeah, they couldn't, they scored over 40 goals. So they couldn't score them, but they also conceded uh, like uh, 36 goals. Um, we have a bit another balance on our side and this shows us also where we need to try to tease them. Um, of course, we want to go out um, with courage, with a courageful tactic uh, and we want to score tomorrow. We are here home and it's important to win the game. Um, this is our strategy and yeah, I'm convinced that it will work. Um, how important will the fans here be for you tomorrow? Yeah, the fans are everything to us. Um, we know that there are a lot of games on the weekend. We men Champions League and it's a, it's a great football weekend uh, for Ghana. Of course, we here in Accra, um, we expect that everybody's coming and, and support us. Uh, of course, we also heard about the protests, but uh, we try to deliver and we expect also that uh, these emotions and waves are, are going to brought in our stadium. Um, we need the support, we need to get them as, uh, everybody here in Ghana, uh, spectators, uh, we footballers, coaches, and, and let's make a big football party tomorrow. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Um, so, the Queens haven't qualified for the Olympics for like 20 years now. What the hell are they doing? Eh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Team. Okay, again, sorry, I was not here. Yeah, so, I mean, the, the team, I mean, the last time any Ghanaian uh, football team qualified for the Olympics was in 2004. Uh, that was a black Matthias. Um, I mean, if the Queens, if you managed to qualify the year to the Olympics, how would that feel for you? I mean, how would you rank that and the list of your achievements, considering that you've already qualified to the Women's Africa Cup of Nations? Well, I think about it honestly when when we did it. <laughs> well, I, I think about uh, this uh, when we made the step and achieved it. I'm not somebody who's looking uh, in the in the future. Um, I'm, I'm very focused in the in the here and now. We have first the game Friday to pass, uh, then the away game in Zambia, and then there's another fourth round. Uh, but of course, for all of us, it's, Olympic is something uh, special. There's a, it's a magic uh, around the Olympics. Uh, and of course, we, we give everything uh, to show up in Paris. Yeah, uh, Nora, I mean, uh, before you came into the team, uh, this Black Queens team weren't winning as many games. Uh, they were struggling to, you know, draw the kind of attention and the kind of fan base that we have here in Ghana now. I mean, Right now, as we speak, a lot of people follow the Black Queens and then, uh, are hopeful that they are successful and you brought that kind of belief into the team. I mean, what, in your opinion, has been the secret bringing the, blacks, the Black Queens to this level? Yeah, the secret is very simple. It's very much work behind it, uh, from player side, from our side, from our leader side. Um, we started the Mission Volta one uh, year ago. And step by step, uh, we build our journey, we level up uh, our environment, uh, our, our staff surrounding, we level up, uh, you know, the player setting. Uh, now, as I said, we bring new players in and so far, so it's a, a, a continuous uh, work uh, and, and, and development and, and this is the secret and you can not lay back one day in football. Um, and I think we, we get now paid off. And for us, it's beautiful to see uh, Yeah, that Ghana is cheering for us. We appreciate and we want to make you proud, of course.